Welcome back to Four of Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. I'm gonna sing this song for over a year now. But I still don't know. What I do know, and what you will know because of the thumbnail and the title, is that I'm trying something out that is new. This is my, does this thing really work? Or is this makeup gimmick worth it? Or seriously, I'm going to use that. I haven't decided what I'm going to call the um, <sighs> playlist yet. Uh, can you tell? Can you tell I'm also having a really bad fibro day? <laughs> right, the item in question is this quick flick which is this particular one is sold by an Australian brand and I got the grand 12 millimeter size because more is well more isn't it so as you can see I do have wing liner both sides it is green your eyes are not deceiving you so what do I really think of these stamp it on and draw a line liner pens are they a gimmick or are they worth it time to find out hello um I know what you're thinking. Well, actually, I don't know what you're thinking because I haven't filled the intro yet. However, uh, eyes are almost done. Just got to do the under edging. Uh, base is done, and you're thinking, hmm, except then you will have looked at the thumbnail and you will have looked at the description. <sighs> I decided, because I know a lot of people do struggle with doing winged eyeliner still. I have got a tutorial for that. I will stick it in the description box below, which is a really easy to follow tutorial just doing the eyeliner. But I've been seeing this a lot, the quick flick. 99 problems but winged eyeliner ain't one. Um, and I had a special offer on over, they're, a, they're an Australian brand. They had a special offer on um, sort of beginning of April I think it was um, open the box up and you get this little information leaflet telling you how to use it and then thank you on the back with all of their um, all of their social media details as you can see um, pretty pink paper which was originally around this but I did have a bit of a play with this the other day I will admit uh, just to check that I, I stamped them on the back of my hand basically to make sure that they worked um, which I can probably get rid of the big box now can't I I will keep the thank you card though because that's nice um, so yeah the, I decided to choose the green one because I've got quite a lot of black eyeliner anyway and with the Jeffrey Blue Blood palette that I've got, um, and I've got Tarte's Icy Bitch, and um, the Hasina 2 that I've got, I've pre ordered the Certify Affinity 2, which is blue and green. So I thought, do you know what? Instead of me constantly dragging out my Jeffrey Crocodile Tears liquid lipstick, I thought I'd see what these were like. Now, you basically get three different choices of sizes. You have petite, medium and grande, which are 8mm, 10mm and 12mm. So I went for the grande, which is a 12mm. And the colour I went for is called Green Envy. Now you get two of these because you have one shaped for your left eye and one shaped for your right, which I hope you can see. And then at the other end it's just the thick liner. But what I discovered was 
whether it's because my eyes are so deep set that I sort of like continue it up more but 12 mils is, is uh, a little bit short for what I normally like <coughs> so let's get you zoomed in and show you how these work I'll bring you in as close as I can without my camera losing resolution okay my right eye so that's what it looks like as you can see and you're meant to put it here and just press which as you can see just bloody disappears on me so I'm going to take it up to where I would normally and then kind of tap it down a bit to give me the shape can you see what I've, what I've done there? I hope you can and then I'm going to go and just sort of start doing my liner the way I would normally do it so this is a really thick chunky whether the the ones on the smaller sized flicks are a smaller sized pen on the end I'm not entirely sure So I'm going to go across my eye like that and then I normally come to about here and start sort of linking to the flick and then obviously I'm going to have to colour this in I mean, yeah, it's okay. It's, it's done a winged eyeliner. Um, and the question is, can I get this side to match? The answer will probably be no. Knowing my luck. So, left hand one. So I'm going to do it again, come up to where I would. Well, I'm going to start off. Like that. See? Mm -mm -mm. So I'm going to come up to where I would normally go and kind of come down with it. I think it's about the same height both sides. And then with this side, I can't go quite as close to the inner corner because of these creases here because the eyeliner just runs straight up it which is great so again I'm going to I mean obviously if you've a not got either deep set or hooded eyes or B you prefer a more subtle wing you would literally only have to do this bit across your eye once you've pushed the stamp on the other side I think I do need to go a little bit higher up actually so I'm just going to extend it with the end of the tip there we go I mean certainly I think if you're learning how to use um, if you're learning how to do winged eyeliner I think this would be a great help initially to show you the sort of shape that you need to do um, and it was okay but obviously because because my eyes are deep set and because I've got I like my wings more dramatic for me it was almost a little bit more complicated because I had to go start at there and then 
And then I, as I had to bring the stamp down, I had to try and make sure this outside edge was kind of running in as, as straight a line as possible. You see there's a bit of a dink there. Um, this side I think I managed better, but that's because I can close that eye. I can't close this one because I'm blinding that one. So I close this one. God only knows what we get. Um, but yeah, I think, I think certainly for beginners, um, you don't have, although I know this is the quick flick one, but you can get cheap ones off of places like AliExpress and eBay if you can't afford these. But this wasn't that expensive and to be honest, I think because, I mean, you really need the tips, these bits here, to be as sharp as possible to get that at the end. So I would advise going for a branded one, whether it, you use Quick Flick or there's, there's loads of these on the market. Um, and I certainly think for beginners or for people who have um, issues with maybe trembling hands and they can't get that fine point that they want, this is a great idea. Um, I might use it if I'm in a hurry one day or if I'm struggling a lot with pain um, because it, it did speed up the process a fraction for me. There you go. Hope you found that helpful. Uh, please double check you're still subscribed because YouTube do keep unsubscribing people. I keep hitting a number and then thinking, aha, I could do my giveaway and then I go back down again. I'm like, no, I can't do my giveaway. Um, so, yeah. And if you're watching this in the future, you never know. Have I hit my 500 yet? Have I done my 500 giveaway? Only time will tell. Right, as ever, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>